Tonight, Polk County health leaders are pleading with the community to wear masks at all public indoor gatherings. Now, though legally, it's something that can't be mandated. Iowa's largest county went from moderate to high transmission rate of COVID over the course of a single week. The CDC making that designation around noon today. So here's a map of the latest transmission rates across our state. You can see most of our state is covered in red or orange that is high or substantial risk. Local 5's Eva Anderson was at the press conference this afternoon. Eva, how are health officials responding to this news? Samantha, Stephanie, health officials say they are worn out and frustrated. That was overall sentiment at a 25 minute press conference held in Des Moines today, where county officials and physicians here in the metro didn't mince words. An Their message was simple. Get vaccinated now. I can't say it any more plainly. Monday, Polk County officials and local physicians expressing frustration that cases in Polk County have crept back up. The conference less than three hours after the CDC designated transmission levels in Polk County high. I'm really struggling to understand how we have collectively let ourselves slide back to this level of risk. District 2 Supervisor Angela Connolly saying those who qualify for the vaccine but aren't getting it are being careless. There is a segment of people who have made the decision that they are not responsible for the health of our community. While doctors once again facing threats of an overburdened hospital system communicated their exhaustion. We all are tired educating people. I am just tired speaking about vaccine each and every day. I am just tired about hearing the excuses that people make. Officials pleaded with the community to wear masks at all indoor public locations, regardless of vaccination status. We are not saying the vaccines are perfect. We are not saying that wearing a mask is perfect. However, all of them together lower the risk and help protect our community. But it can't be required countywide. Earlier this year, Governor Reynolds signed legislation making it illegal for schools and city leaders to mandate masks. So officials Monday urged parents to vaccinate their kids if they're old enough and send them to school wearing masks so they don't spread it around and called on business owners to require masks, adding the county is setting an example. Here at Polk County, we are requiring our employees to provide proof of vaccination. If they are not vaccinated or do not show proof, then they are required to wear a mask and it will be enforced. The chief medical officer for Unity Point Health Des Moines said 19 people were admitted to the hospital with COVID over the weekend, including the first pediatric patient in four weeks. Eva Anderson, Local 5 News, We Are Iowa.